Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. And today, we are going to learn how to make an inventory paper. An inventory paper, what this is going to be, it's going to be a class, which we haven't made yet. And it's just going to be a class that wraps around an inventory component. Which you can then use in your code to make things just slightly invent, not, to just make things slightly easier. The reason we're doing an inventory paper instead of anything else, because I personally find it to be the easiest. And since we haven't done classes yet, I feel like it's a good idea to go for the easiest thing. I'm going to get rid of that. So, let's get started. First off, make a class. I'm just going to call it inventory. And make a constructor. This constructor is going to input an a inventory. This is not going to be of type inventory. It's actually going to be of type entity or block. Actually, you know, we're not going to do block because that would be too hard for this video. We should do entity. There's no entity here, so just control space. If you want to get this menu up, just click on that to import it. I am using TypeScript. I have shown how to do it in episode 5. I've been using TypeScript since then. I really recommend you learn it. So how do we do this? Well, let's declare some properties first. Properties can just be seen as variables inside of a class or an object. So this is going to be... It's actually going to be protected. Or to make it easier, I'm just going to make it private. It's going to be called inventory and it's going to be of type entity inventory component what this means is it has a private keyword it's called inventory and it's going to be of type entity inventory component so now let's set this inventory I'm also going to go ahead and make it read only this this refers to the class itself dot inventory which is going to be of type entity inventory component. And so if we just try and set it to this inventory variable or argument, which is of type entity, it's going to error. So to get the inventory component, we're just going to do dot get component inventory. All right, but there is one small problem it's that not all entities have an inventory component so what I'm going to go ahead and do is if inventory dot has component inventory then it's going to set it else meaning that they don't have the inventory component it's just going to console dot warn entity doesn't have an inventory and now yeah let's go over these two keywords if you don't know them private just means it can't be used outside of a class so if I do new inventory and then you can error if I do dot nothing shows up because the only thing that would show up is inventory but it's private if I get rid of the private here and then I do dot again. It's going to show the inventory, but we don't want that. We want it to be private. Oh my goodness. So, let's start adding some more properties. Also, read only means it can't be changed. The only place it can be changed is in the constructor. Let's make some more. Let's make a public. Also, read only size which is going to be of type number public means that it can be seen everywhere read only means it can't be changed other than the constructor and it's just of type number all right let me add some curly braces here and so 
this dot size is going to be equal to inventory dot not inventory this dot inventory dot container dot size so if I need to do new inventory dot size and this is just how many slots the inventory has which we can actually add a comment the amount of slots the inventory has I'm getting so many pings right now once again new inventory dot size now if I hover over it it's going to say the amount of slots the inventory has Let's just add one more property. It's again, public, read only. And this one's going to be called empty slot count, which is just the amount of slots which are there. This dot empty slot count equals this dot inventory dot container dot empty slots count. The reason I'm making a whole new <laughs> Um, property for this just because empty slots count doesn't sound like this. <laughs> Once again, let's add a comment which is called the amount of slots in the inventory which are air. Let's also add a comment for the inventory, even though it's only seen in the class, it's still good to add a comment. It's going to be just the inventory, inventory component. Now that we have all of our properties out of the way, let's make some methods. The first method I'm going to add is, funnily enough, the add item method, which will in input one argument, which is going to be the item, so type item stack, and it's going to return nothing, so we're not going to add anything as a return value. So all it does is this dot inventory dot container dot add item item Once again let's add some comments item is a type item stack and it's just going to be the item that will be added to the inventory and then as just a general description which is be what you put up top it just add an item to the inventory of the entity let's add some more i'm going to just go ahead and copy and paste this and this one's going to be get item with another argument here which could be slot which is just of type number the Thing right here just get item slot comma item expected one argument but got two. Oh yeah we don't need the item here just the slot so yeah get an item from the inventory of an entity from a slot number param number name slot the slot of the inventory to get the item from and what's the point of getting an item if it returns nothing so we're just going to return this which will return an item stack and since it's returning an item stack right here we add that right here which just shows in TypeScript that it is in fact returning an item stack Let's just add one more method for this class. And that method is going to be set item method. Where the slot is number. And then item see, item stack. I can't spell. <laughs> and what this does is just sets an item, the inventory of the entity from a slot number. And just like all the other ones, it's just going to be this dot inventory dot container dot set item slot item and since it doesn't return anything there's no reason to do anything so once again comment 
number slot slot to s set the item to the item is item stack item to the slot to wait slot to set the item to item set slot to yeah that makes sense and set an item in the inventory of the entity from a s slot number so just a mix of the two comments here and yeah that's all there is to talk about whenever it comes to this inventory class now how would we use it well first off let me load into the TypeScript pack and also do TSC build which I've not build but watch which I forgot to do earlier and let's do a couple things first thing let's do first thing to do we're going to export this class and then import it within our main which I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of this I'm just going to go ahead and import slot that utils the command handler and import inventory from the inventory paper so if I were to just do new inventory get the same as before since there's no parameter and same like everything by the way small tip which you should know if it's blue in VSC that means it's a property it means you do not put the brackets here and it should be blue meanwhile if it's purple then it becomes yellow and you're supposed to put these brackets no parentheses sorry anyways let's get to code we're going to import world dot events dot what should we do how about before item use dot subscribe data now just say const player inventory or I guess entity inventory entity inventory equals a new inventory from data dot source and you see there's absolutely no error since we're actually inputting the entity oh yeah speaking of let's add one more comment I'm sorry if the, all the comments are getting annoying but they are very useful in the long run long term in the constructor entity entity to get the inventory from and then and then get the inventory of an entity so now let me go ahead close those new inventory right there so now if I do in inventory dot all these same things have go come on so let's just console dot warn entity inventory dot size which if I were to slash reload should just warn 36 since a player has 36 slots which it does then. let's also go ahead and warn the empty slot count which is apparently also 36 did I even reload yeah I didn't even reload yeah, 34 these two items take up two slots so it's just 36 minus 2 now let's console that one one more thing which is just going to be the get item from slot 0 zero slot 0 should be the very first item which is this shop thing right there and we're just going to go ahead and warn its ID which should be minecraft recovery compass so I should reload right there minecraft recovery compass just like we made it and now let's show off the last two methods that we made by the way alright let's let's look back at classes remember a property I forgot to make this of type number a property is like a variable but in a class or object a method is like a function but in a class or object do not get those two mixed up inventory dot add item now the item that will be added to the inventory this item 
is there's going to be a new item stack of items that get minecraft diamond comma mount one data zero new item stack that's what I'm putting items dot get just gives you the item type of an ID this is how you're supposed to get item types of custom items I said this in the last video so try again slash reload right click as you see it adds an item to my inventory it adds a diamond if I were to put it over here and I right click again it gives me another diamond if I put these two on the same slot it should add it again to that slot. It's not in the close slot, then it's just gonna do that. And yeah, that's how the item things work. Finally, set item. And set item in slot three to to a iron ingot. Actually, in you know, slot two, technically slot three. So slot two is the diamond slot. So it should set that to an iron ingot. And that was right. It does. If I were to put the gold there now, I right click again. Back to an iron ingot. If I right click multiple times, nothing's going to happen since the iron ingot's already there. Infinite iron. <laughs> and yeah. That's how you can make a simple inventory class. You can add more to this class, like swap items and transfer items which are two more methods from this container but this is just to be a nice showcase of what you can do with these classes and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see ya